Welcome to another deep dive. We're diving into excerpts from one algorithm to rule them all. The algorithmic singularity is near. Wow, just the title alone, right? right. Makes you think, are we really on the verge of some all-powerful AI? Right, one algorithm to solve it all. It's a captivating thought. It really is. It's really fueled imaginations for decades. But the reality is, what's well, a lot more nuanced? Mm -hmm. Instead of one single all-encompassing algorithm, what we actually see is a really diverse landscape of algorithms. Okay. Each one meticulously designed for a very specific task. So no magical one algorithm to like solve everything. You got it. Not quite. Yeah. Think of it this way. The 2010 flash crash. Remember that? Yeah. A very real example of what happens when algorithms designed for, well, for high frequency trading kind of spin out of control. Right. Right. This event, I mean, it showed us that even with seemingly contained functions, the ripple effects can be enormous. That's a, it's a chilling reminder of just how much impact these systems they already have. Mm -hmm. And it makes me wonder, I mean, with AI advancing so rapidly, how do we ensure it remains beneficial? Mm. You know, that it doesn't become something we should fear. It's a critical question. And and when the book really tackles head on, okay, it advocates for for more transparency in AI. We can't just accept these algorithmic decisions as these these black boxes, you know. Mm -hmm. We need to understand how they get to those conclusions. So it's like like demanding to see the recipe, not just, you know, tasting the dish. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We want to know what ingredients are going into these decisions and how they're all being mixed together. Precisely. Yeah. And this need for transparency, well, it becomes even more crucial as AI takes on roles with a real social impact, you know. Like loan approvals. Right. Imagine being denied a loan without any understanding of why. It really highlights the need for what we call explainable AI. Explainable AI. Where the decision-making process is clear, it's accountable. So there's, it's like we need checks and balances for AI, just like we have for other, well, powerful systems, right? Right. But how do you, how do you even start to create those controls for something as complex and as rapidly evolving as AI? Well, the book... It really stresses that human oversight is more crucial now than ever. Okay. It argues that even with all the advancements, human judgment, ethical considerations, that ability to really grasp context, they're irreplaceable. So it's less about AI replacing us and more about, well, more about finding ways for humans and AI to actually work together effectively. Absolutely. It's about leveraging each other's strengths. Mm -hmm. Look at the field of oncology, for example. Mm -hmm. Doctors are using AI systems like IBM's Watson, to tap into this vast database of medical knowledge, which helps them make more informed decisions about diagnosis and treatment. Wow. So it's like it's like having a, a super powered research assistant yeah. that can analyze mountains of data and identify patterns that, that we might miss, that humans might miss. Exactly. AI excels at this kind of large scale analysis. Wow. It's a powerful tool for human ingenuity. Incredible. Yeah, it shows how this collaboration, it's not about replacing us. It's about its about pushing the boundaries of mm -hmm. what's possible, right? And this collaborative spirit, it's not just in science either. Oh, okay. The book talks about how educators are using AI tools now to personalize learning. Oh, interesting. For students. So instead of a one-size-fits-all approach, AI can, what, help? tailor the educational experience exactly wow to each student's needs and learning style that's pretty amazing it's about making learning more engaging more effective and we're even seeing this collaboration in creative fields too creative fields so is ai writing poetry now or composing symphonies uh-huh well not quite taking over those roles just yet okay but definitely assisting artists designers they're using ai as a creative partner you know to bounce ideas off of, explore new possibilities, even break through those creative blocks. That's, I mean, that's really something. It challenges this idea that creativity is purely human, you know? And that's what's so captivating about this whole field, right? Yeah. It makes us re-examine our assumptions about intelligence, about creativity, about what it means to be human, especially in a world that's becoming more and more AI-driven. Yeah, it's a lot to wrap your head around, but it sounds like... This book doesn't just, you know, lay out the technical stuff. It grapples with the bigger questions, too, right? Like the philosophical, the societal implications. It does. It really does. And that's what makes it so compelling. It asks those big questions head on. Like, if we're really talking about a future where AI has this bigger role in shaping our world, how do we make sure those algorithms are designed ethically? 
responsibly? It's a big question, right? Yeah. Because it's not just about the code, it's about the values that are that are baked into that code. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. And and who gets to decide those things? I mean, how do we even ensure that algorithmic governance, as the book calls it, is truly representative, benefits everyone, not just, you know, a select few? Those are the million dollar questions. And the book really digs into that. Yeah. It highlights that as AI gets more influential, addressing these questions becomes crucial. It's like we're standing at a crossroads. We've got this incredible technology that could revolutionize things, but we need to be really thoughtful, really deliberate about how we guide its development, right? And that's exactly what makes this whole exploration so crucial. It's not just about understanding algorithm. It's about understanding ourselves, our values, and the kind of future we want. This has been an amazing start to this deep dive. We've gone from, you know, this myth of the one algorithm to the very real and potentially very significant concept of algorithmic governance. And we've only just scratched the surface. The book explores the exciting possibilities, the ethics, and the steps we need to take to ensure a positive AI-powered future. Sounds like we have a lot more to unpack. Let's take a moment to reflect on these initial thoughts, and then we'll delve deeper in our next segment. You know, one of the most exciting things the book dives into is how this collaboration between humans and AI, it's already happening. Really? Yeah. I feel like we hear about AI so much in this, like, futuristic sense, you know, like it's something way off in the distance. Right. But you're saying it's it's already happening now. It really is. Take medical research, for instance. Okay. Scientists are using AI right now to analyze huge data sets. Wow. From clinical trials, it helps identify potential treatments for diseases much faster than we could before. So like speeding up the research process, yeah. leading to breakthroughs that might have taken, what, years longer? Exactly, and it's not just speed. Okay. It's the ability to see these subtle patterns in the data that we might miss. Interesting. AI is really good at this large-scale analysis. Wow. It becomes this powerful tool for human ingenuity. That's incredible. So we're not talking about replacing human intelligence, but more like enhancing it. That's the point. Wow. And this collaborative spirit yeah. goes beyond science. Okay. The book talks about how educators are using AI tools now, you know, to personalize learning for their students. Oh, interesting. So instead of a one size fits all, AI size. can tailor the educational experience. Yes. To each student's needs. Wow. And learning style. That's pretty amazing. It yeah. really is. And we're even seeing this in creative fields, which I always find so interesting. Creative fields. So is AI writing poetry now? Composing symphonies. Uh -huh. Well, not quite taking over those roles just yet. Okay. But definitely assisting, mm -hmm. you know, artists and designers are using AI as a creative partner. To, to bounce ideas off of, explore new things, you know, even to kind of break through those creative blocks. Wow. So it really challenges this notion that, that creativity is purely a human thing. Right. And that's what's so fascinating about this whole field. Yeah. It constantly makes us rethink our assumptions about intelligence, creativity, even what it means to be human Yeah. in this world that's becoming increasingly AI-driven. It's a lot to take in, that's for sure. It sounds like this book, it doesn't just talk about the technical parts of AI, but it actually grapples with these bigger questions, right? Like the philosophical, the societal implications. It really does, and that's what gripped me. Yeah. It's not afraid to ask the tough questions. Right. Like, if we're talking about a future where AI has this much influence on our world, how can we be sure those algorithms are designed ethically, yeah. responsibly? Right, it's a huge question because it's not just about the code itself, but the values yes. that are built into it. Exactly. And, yeah. and who gets to make those calls? How do we even guarantee that this algorithmic governance, as the book calls it, is actually representative, benefits everyone, not just a select few? million dollar questions and the book digs into those too it really highlights how as ai becomes more powerful answering these questions is crucial it really does feel like we're at this crossroads yeah. you know we have this incredible technology that has so much potential it does but we have to be careful be thoughtful about how we use it how we develop it right i agree and i think that's a key message of the book yeah it's not about being scared of ai or trying to stop it it's about working with it in a thoughtful, ethical way, with a vision absolutely, for the kind of future we want. It feels like we're at this really crucial point, you know, like we have this incredible opportunity to steer this powerful technology in the right direction. We really are. It's like we're writing the rules for a whole new era, you know? Exactly. And the choices we're making now, they're going to echo for generations. They really will. 
but it feels, I don't know, like a massive undertaking. Where do we even begin? Well, the book, it suggests that the first step is awareness. Okay. Like what we're doing right now, this deep dive, understanding what AI can do, where the, the potential pitfalls are, and how important human oversight is, that's essential. So knowledge is power, basically. The more we know as individuals, the better we can participate in these bigger conversations about you know, about AI's development and how we govern it. Absolutely. And it's not just about the technical stuff. Right. It's about our own values. You know, what kind of future do we actually want with AI? What ethical lines do we need to draw? It goes way beyond the technology itself, doesn't it? It's philosophical, ethical, even, I don't know, spiritual. Yeah, it really is. It's about recognizing that AI, it's not just a tool, it's a reflection of us of our aspirations, our capacity for good and for bad. It's like holding up a mirror to humanity. That's a great way to put it. And what we see in that mirror, it's changing all the time as AI keeps advancing. Right, so it's not a one-time conversation, is it? It's an ongoing dialogue if that we need to have as a society. We do, and that dialogue needs to include everyone, you know, technologists, ethicists, artists, policymakers, everyday people. Right. Everyone's got a stake in this. Everyone. This has been, wow, such an eye-opening deep dive. It is. I feel like I went from feeling kind of overwhelmed by this one algorithm thing to realizing that the future of AI, it's it's a lot more complex than that. And we actually have a say in it. We do. And that's what's so exciting about all this. It is. It's not some predetermined path. It's an open road. And if we approach these advancements with curiosity, responsibility, and a willingness to really engage in these conversations, I think we can create a future that benefits everyone. It's optimistic, for sure, but I think it's something we can all work towards. Well, this has been incredible. Thank you so much for, you know, for taking the time to, to share your insights with us. My pleasure, really. Yeah. Th these discussions are so important, and it's great to see people so engaged with these ideas. And to everyone listening, thank you for joining us on this deep dive into the world of AI. And remember, the future isn't something that just happens. It's something we all create together. Until next time.